mechanical engineers play central roles in the design, manufacture, and testing of virtually every technological device brought to market. This is an exciting time to be a mechanical engineer. Two of the hottest areas today and for the foreseeable future are nanoengineering and bioengineering. Mechanical engineers play pivotal roles in each of them. Nanoengineering is concerned with devices and material behavior at very small scales. A human hair is about 100 microns in diameter. A nanometer is 100,000 times smaller than that. Can you begin to imagine how devices function at these scales? At Northwestern, we will show you how fundamental engineering principles can help you answer questions like this. Here at Northwestern, mechanical engineers are very involved in modern developments in bioengineering, from the design of prostheses and other biomedical devices to understanding the behavior of cells. To prepare students for careers in such a dynamic field, our curriculum is very flexible. Beginning in the freshman year in our Engineering First program, we teach design and decision making. We place considerable emphasis on oral and written communication skills, team building, and working in an interdisciplinary environment. These are essential skills for engineers today. Many students find that the fundamental education they receive in mechanical engineering is excellent preparation for graduate study in law, medicine, or virtually any of the engineering disciplines. The Department of Mechanical Engineering is known for its excellent teaching and its innovative curriculum. Two of the most recent recipients of the McCormick Teacher of the Year Award are from Mechanical Engineering. Several of our faculty members have been honored at the university and national levels for their teaching excellence. We have a low student to faculty ratio and many Mechanical Engineering undergraduates work closely with faculty on state-of-the-art research. There are also many opportunities for hands-on work in our manufacturing and mechatronics labs. For example, the machine I'm standing beside here is a laser scanner. Engineering students use this machine to reverse engineer parts and to create computer models of those parts. They can also use the machine to check the dimensional accuracy of parts, like this glove prototype here, which they manufacture using other sophisticated machinery in this lab. The faculty in the department are exceptional and truly diverse in their backgrounds and interests. Five, or almost 20% of the faculty are women, a very impressive number indeed. Two of our newest faculty were hired jointly with biomedical engineering. They work in the new area of neural engineering, which deals with the brain, sensory motor behavior, and how mechanical engineering can play a role in helping patients recover from stroke. They bring backgrounds in neuroscience, cognitive science and philosophy, and robotics to bear on this very important area. I like to think of mechanical engineering as the liberal arts of the 21st century. It provides a foundation for lifelong learning relevant to the technological world we live in. It also acts as a springboard to a wide variety of careers. If you are interested in a highly flexible program with opportunities in nanoengineering and bioengineering, in manufacturing, design and robotics, we invite you to consider mechanical engineering at Northwestern.